Greetings, people. I come in peace. I really do. I wanted to reflect on this Ben Whittaker debacle. I think it's a stark reflection on our society at present. Not only did Ben show a lack of sportsmanship before the fight, in the fight, and after the fight, but he sank to a new low by insulting his opponent for not wearing the latest in chic upscale attire. Apparel. Clobber. I don't think he's even apologised to his opponents, or fans for that matter. Oh, he did apologise to the fan whose phone he smashed at the airport. How conceited you must be to look down on your opponent for something as superficial as clothing. Childish. Liam said he stored up all the insults for the fight, and rightly so. It gave him the fuel he needed. Righteous indignation. Cameron started to punish Ben, and even started to taunt him. A bit of his own medicine dispensed, served, and apportioned. We all knew what was coming, and Ben did too. None of his punches were having any effect, and Liam Cameron was in a rhythm. Ben was knackered. So much for all the talk. Louis Vuitton can't help you now. Ben Whittaker didn't have the character or calibre to persist and grind out a win. You see, he likes things his own way. He likes to be on top. And as we saw that night, when the going gets tough, he looks for a way out. Not very champion-like material, is it? It's bad enough he mocks his opponents, who are brought in for him to knock over in a couple of rounds and look good against. But when it comes to fighting someone who wants to win and has the tools to make it a hard night, he folds. Ben is a petulant, spoilt brat. He's had everything given to him. Yes, he's talented, but that can only get you so far. You need to be grizzled, hardened, willing to go through hell. There's no excuse for his behaviour. Do you remember his contemptuous response to winning the silver at the Olympics? He sulked like an infant. Millennial. Millennial. Or is Ben Gen Z? Must be Gen Z. Don't get me wrong, there's some great young people around. And even the so deemed not so great kids have the potential to be a positive version of themselves if they're given half a chance. It's the adults around these young people who don't help them to keep their feet on the ground for whatever reason. There's an epidemic of entitled, selfish, egotistical youngsters who are destined to be self centered, self absorbed, self indulged, and narcissistic addition to our society. That's why a humbling is possibly the best lesson a young person can get. And the earlier, the better. The problem is, will Ben learn from it or double down on his obnoxious disposition? I'm fed up of it. There's too much of this all show and no substance. You can't act like you've made it until you have. I understand Ben's having fun in there. But let's see you have a pleasant time fighting champions. But herein lies the problem. The likes of Ben Whittaker and others have been courted for years. He's been getting gifts, endowments, funding and donations for ages, well before he turned pro. So when a young man doesn't have to work as hard as everybody else and believes his own hype, he becomes an accident waiting to happen. There's no doubt that Ben has the aptitude to be a successful boxer. But he has to knuckle down. He's going up in class. And he doesn't seem to have the devastating punching power to get him out of trouble. So he has to augment and amplify his engine. He can't afford to gas in the middle of a fight. He has to build his stamina well. It will be interesting to see if he takes the rematch. And if he does, what he does differently. They can't keep rolling out journeymen for Ben. He's between a rock and a hard place. Anyway... Thanks for listening, please subscribe, and remember, choose life. I think positive always, I believe I can do anything, and boxing's been my, it is my business, and it's been my business. I'm not, I don't know, I can't, I don't know all the answers, but I'm the greatest authority in the world on Sugar Ray Robinson, and I have some idea on just what he can do and what he can't do.